Hello Hunters! So Title Update 5 has been with us for almost two weeks, and after having my fun with the new status builds, it's time to take a look at Element. I would say, for the most part, things have not changed very much, unless you are interested in seeking good talismans or very particular augments. Dragon Conversion Fairy sets were the most popular sets for Switch Axe in Title Update 4, and if you have one of those set up already, I would say you're probably in good shape as it is. With Title Update 5, we got a new Augment slot, which will give us 10 more Raw and 10 more Sharpness, and the 8th Element Augment giving 8 Element. So existing sets just get more Element, and you can slot less Handicraft now. However, you're probably here to see what are the new heights that we can reach with Title Update 5. And my warning here is that only taste these down if you are up for the large amount of armor augmenting to seek certain skills. Like all the sets on my channel, I make sure that I can accomplish them myself first. However, both of these sets took several hundred augments in order to create. I won't be going into the explanations for Dragon Conversion and Furies in this video, but if you don't know, you can check my previous video for Title Update 4. For the Dragon Conversion Fury sets, there is a very reasonable jump in power. However, the requirements for these sets are very steep. I talked about this in a video prior to Title Update 5. With the right augments and talisman, the Dragon Conversion builds can now fit in a lot more skills. But the problem is, Dragon Conversion and Furious can only be obtained through talismans and augments. For me personally, I have way more augment materials than melting accelerants, so it makes more sense for me to augment these skills in rather than chase down a specific talisman. I've mostly been using the Cyclist method to get a level 3 Rapid Morph Talisman with 3 2 slots, and that's been good enough for me. When doing these augments, I highly recommend using Skills Plus. This is the most reasonable augment method to use to actually find the skill that you want in a reasonable time. This is because Skills Plus always adds and removes a skill, compared to the ordinary augment where you can get no skill sometimes. You will have to hope that you won't lose skills you absolutely need, but I've found that augmenting with skills plus has been the best way to find skills that I need. Once I do get the skill that I need, sometimes I continue to augment with the regular method so I can get the skill that I want without losing any skills. So the maximum dragon conversion set I have requires a specific skill augment in each slot, requiring in total two dragon conversion augments and three furious augments. Of course, if you have a good talisman with dragon conversion on it or furious on it and good slots, you can use that instead and not have to worry so much about augments. So what I have shown here is a template that you could use for all five elements. I left an empty level 4 slot if you want to put in more comfort or more damage, that's totally up to you. Note that your own build will probably be quite different, as the skills you lose from augments and your talisman will probably be different than one I use. Going over my own set, here's a look at the augments that I got in order to get the Dragon Conversion and Furious augments. Of course, everyone's augments are going to be different, and your luck is going to vary, so be aware of what you're signing up for when trying to make a build like this. Here's a quick scroll through of all the other elements. Something you might notice that's different is the Kezu Switch Axe for Thunder. I found that I quite like this for the level 3 Rampage slot, the higher raw, but also better slots than the Narva Switch Axe. But for Ice and Dragon, it is still the Lagambi and the Calamitous Axe, respectively. As usual, just pause the video if you need to take a look at the set. So looking at this in a training room, after obtaining the Dragon Conversion buff and switching to Red Scroll, we can see that the element value is very high, but also Affinity will be at 100%, and our attack is much higher than before. If you are running the Male of Hellfire, Strife, and Dereliction set, then less has changed for you. You probably were already enjoying having most of the skills that you wanted in Title Update 4. This is a higher risk health drain set that will do more damage. It's not something I personally use, but if you like living dangerously, this might be something for you. The augment requirements for this set will be 3 male of hellfire and 1 strife. Again, you can luck out with a nice talisman with these skills, otherwise I think augmenting is the way to go. The stats on this set are pretty ridiculous when you're in blue scroll, but it is what you get for running a high risk life drain set. The multipliers on Mail of Hellfire and Strife really push Element to be really high on this set, even though it doesn't use Dragon Conversion at all. This is the template set for the build, you want to change the Switch Axe, the Element, and the Blessings accordingly. And these are the augments that I got for myself in order to create this set. Thanks for watching this video, I think these are close to the best that you can get with Element sets this update. Technically, you can get 3 Dragon Conversion, 3 Furious, 3 Strife, and 1 Dereliction, but I felt that was too far out of reach to feasibly obtain. 
If you do decide to put these sets together, good luck. I didn't really have anything to spend my essences on after this update anyway, so I figured why not use them all to chase these down. More content is planned and on the way, so subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any videos. Thanks for watching, hunters. Take care.